to Beyond the News, a show with topical news and fresh views. My name is Amaya Young. And I'm Caitlin Bryant. There's some good news to report when it comes to the COVID numbers in Kentucky. Our daily positivity rate is dropping. While that is good news, the impact on Kentucky families has been devastating. There are more than 349,000 cases and more than 36,000 people have died. Last week, the process of giving vaccines started. Kroger Field, home of the UK Wildcats, is now the hub for vaccinations. Who gets to go first is based on profession and age. The shots are free, and thousands of Central Kentucky teachers have already received the first of the two-shot vaccine. Since teachers are among the first getting their shots, we predict that it will help get students back in the school faster. There is a well-planned out process when it comes to who is eligible to get their vaccines first. The most important group in this process is called Phase B. Phase B consists of frontline essential workers, such as firefighters, police officers, educators, grocery store employees, and public transit workers. People over the age of 75 are also a part of Phase B. The next group in line for the vaccine is people between the ages of 65 and 74, followed by people between 16 and 64 years old with underlying medical conditions and other essential workers. So far, more than 50,000 vaccines have been given in Fayette. Kentucky is one of the only 19 states that has put teachers on the top of the list in line to get one of their vaccines. It is part of the effort to reopen our schools for in-person learning. Fayette County has created this matrix that identifies how and when we can return to school. You can get the free app for iPhone or Android for daily updates. Exactly when we get to return to in-person class depends on the numbers. Right now, we are still in the purple zone, so we will remain in virtual classes. But since the numbers are dropping, Fayette County announced this week that a graduated return into in-person classes may begin February 16th. Elementary students in kindergarten through the second grade will be the first to go back to in-person class. According to a CDC survey back in August, more than 40% of Americans are struggling with mental health issues as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. It is not surprising since we have been isolated for nearly a year. It hasn't always been easy. Ethan Taylor joins us with more information that we can benefit from. I'm Ethan Taylor with your Mental Health Minute. There has been another COVID-19 symptom that isn't always talked about. Students have been experiencing it. It's anxiety. Studies show that before COVID-19, 15 to 20% of students needed a mental health screening. It is projected to double during the coronavirus. Since 1999, the death rate from suicide has increased from 10.5% to around 14% per 100,000 people. That is 14,200 deaths per 100,000 people in the world by suicide. When you do the math, that is 78,184 deaths per year by suicide. Why am I talking about this? Well, if we don't take mental health serious and pay attention to the warning signs, the suicide rate will increase. We need to change something. Ask friends, family, neighbors. Just ask anybody how they truly are. And if you are struggling with your own mental health, and I've been there, you're not alone. Keep fighting get help. Because once you get through it, life gets a little easier. I'm Ethan Taylor, and this has been your Mental Health Minute. Thank you, Ethan. As someone who has battled with mental health issues in the past, I can attest to the fact that it is a very serious issue that should be taken more seriously. If you or someone you know are in need of help, guess what? There is help. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline Network has a 24-hour crisis hotline. Just call 1-800-273-TALK. You can also text with a trained crisis counselor from the crisis text line for free 24-7. Just text TALK 
to 741-741. We'll be back after this short break. Do it for your roommates. Do it for your teachers. Do it for your crush. When it comes to wearing a mask, staying six feet apart, and avoiding large gatherings, do it for everyone in your life. Together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. Welcome back. It was an inauguration unlike any other, the historic oath of office during a pandemic. Joe Biden was sworn in as president and Kamala Harris became the first woman ever to be sworn in as vice president of the United States, as well as the first biracial vice president. Both of her parents were immigrants. Her mother was from India and her father is from Jamaica. On their first day in office, Biden signed several executive orders to help slow the spread of COVID-19 and repealed some of President Trump's controversial policies. As Trump left Washington for his estate in Florida, his mark was made, literally. A manatee was spotted in Florida with the word Trump engraved on the growing algae on his back. <laughs> Thankfully, the manatee was unharmed during this process. These mammals are nicknamed gentle giants or sea cows. They are extremely friendly and are not dangerous to humans. Their population has dropped significantly due to habitat loss and strikes by fast moving boats. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is investigating the branding. The Center of Biological Diversity is offering $5,000 for any information leading to who is responsible. Hi, this is Tyrone Fry here, and this is Tyrone Sports News. The 2021 NBA trade deadline is less than two months away, and it has the rumor mill running. There was recently some bad chemistry in some NBA teams that been going on, and now everything is back to normal and where it should be. Also, everybody is happy on the same team. Believe it or not, it's already time to start thinking about scheduling for next year. Be sure that a class at Eastside is on your list. Applying has never been easier. Just go to our website at fcps.net slash Eastside. Not only will you find the application, which just takes a minute to fill out, but you will also find out about each class as well as see videos about each program. Apply today to make sure you get a spot. To stay up to date on everything that is happening at Eastside, see photos, videos, information about scholarships for college, and other fun facts, follow us and like us on social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and each of our pages have something a little different. Before we say goodbye, here's something to make you smile. Literally. You need to smile while you still have teeth. Life is too short. Thank you for watching. This is Amaya, and until next time, we love you to infinity and beyond.